As Mark Cerny, the lead architect of the PS5 and PS5 Pro, basically said that PSSR is dead and that they're going to go with AMD's native upscaling technology, FSR, and specifically FSR4. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Let's see, is PSSR dead? But first, check out the links down below in the video description for some really cool stuff. Coffee, the best smart TV, the best smart ring, probiotics, $10 off your first Instacart order. Check it out and check out my link on Amazon of the collated list of all the best tech you could buy. You'll find some really cool stuff there, stuff that you may not realize that you wanted in the first place. Go check it out. Trust me. Take the time, it'll be worth it. Anyways, Mark Cerny says FSR4, which is AMD's own proprietary upscaling technology, separate from PSSR. It, obviously, PlayStation um, basically branched off and did their own upscaling technology. Maybe they're starting to reel back now and be like, okay, maybe doing our own upscaling technology separate from F FSR and AMD's own solution is maybe a bad idea. Maybe we have bit off more than we can chew because he's sitting here basically saying FSR4 is the next evolution of PSSR. So is that him trying to say that uh, AMD, maybe PSSR wasn't a good idea. You've done everything that we're hoping to do, but you've done it better and you're offering it for free anyway on the PS5 Pro. Uh Let's just, let's just put the brakes on it, PSSR, and just go with AMD's FSR instead. That's kind of what it's looking like here. And now, obviously, we, on, upon the release of the PS5 Pro, we got PSSR. It was the new cell, and, like, big term that everyone was talking about. PSSR and the PS5 Pro. PS5 Pro is the only thing that can use or take advantage of PSSR right now. And, um, obviously, it was supposed to be better than everything else. It was... PlayStation's own proprietary AI upscaling technology. Um, and what we found out was that it was very immature as far as an AI uh, an upscaling technology is concerned. We've got DLSS with um, NVIDIA. We've got AI upscaling, frame generation, all that sort of stuff. Um, and then obviously PlayStation says we're going to release our own version of that. AMD's got its own version, which is called FSR. And what we saw when the PS5 Pro came out was that PSSR wasn't really all it was you know, played up to be. Um, and a lot of developers actually reverted back to using AMD's FSR. So maybe we're seeing that PlayStation's about to just give up on PSSR completely since AMD's already working on something that's technically already better in a lot of ways and just go with FSR4 because they're saying it's the next evolution of PSSR. So let's see what he's got to say. So the RDNA4 upscaler is the first result of AMD and Sony's Project Amethyst collaboration. So basically this is maybe what it was leading to all along because we did see Mark Cerny come out and say that Sony and AMD were working together on the next upscaling technologies that so we're going to have a tight collaboration. So maybe this is what was it was leading to all along and we're starting to see the fruit from that endeavor, right? So last week, AMD... So this article comes courtesy of Eurogamer.net. Obviously, um, Richard Led, uh, Leadbetter, obviously, he's big um, as far as Digital Foundry is concerned. Obviously, the, the the website that basically benchmarks a lot of games. Go check out Digital Foundry if you haven't. It's fantastic. If you're wanting to see how performance differs on console to PC to PS5 to PS5 Pro, etc., Xbox, Digital Foundry is the place to go. So last week, AMD released a new wave of graphics hardware developed around the new RDNA 4 architecture. Machine learning performance has dramatically increased, opening the door to FSR 4, a brand new machine learning based upscaler that delivers excellent quality compared to NVIDIA's DLSS. Just after launch, AMD revealed that it was co-developed in association with Sony as part of its Project Amethyst initiative. And in an interview with Digital Foundry, PlayStation lead system architect Mark Cerny says that our target is to have something very similar to FSR 4's upscaler scaler available on the PS5 Pro for 2026 titles as the next evolution of PSSR. Um, the neural network and training recipe in FSR4's upscaler are the first results of the Amethyst collaboration, Cerny told us, and results are excellent. I could just hear Mark Cerny's voice in my head right now, the way he said, excellent. Like, he's got, he's got a very posh voice. Good for him. Um, it's a more advanced approach that can exceed the crispness of PSSR. I'm very proud of the work of the joint team. Um, again, not to bash Mark Cerny. I like the way he's very technical in his words. Um, he's very professional and technical in the way that he words things, and I like that about him. Um, you can assess the quality of FSR for yourself via the embedded video below, where Digital Foundry stacks up the new upscaler against the non-machine learning FSR 3.1, along with DLSS 3.7 and DLSS 4.0. While we have more in-depth coverage to come, our take on the new technology is that it represents a huge leap over FSR 3.1. And let me just let me just say, from a PC perspective, a PC player's perspective, FSR 3.1 has been fantastic as far as like squeezing as many frames as you can out of a out of a game um on medium 
to low hardware. I mean, I'm talking about the Steam Deck, which uses an AMD APU. I'm talking about the my PC, which is a third. Uh, well. I can't say my PC, but the Steam Deck specifically with AMD Tech, it does a fantastic job of running games at a lower resolution and upscaling that to a resolution that's much better and also looks much better and looks like it's running at the higher resolution without compromising too much on performance. In fact, it obviously benefits performance, it gives you more frames. Um, so FSR 3.1 is already pretty damn amazing. And if he's if this is going to pan out like the way he's saying is fsr4 is going to be a huge leap over that which is going to be amazing and especially on console right um so delivering quality wins over dlss 3.7 while there are elements where the new transformer based dlss4 model wins out we were delighted to see that fsr4 is surprisingly competitive against nvidia's latest and again nvidia has a lot of specific hardware dedicated hardware to make um make dlss work um they're like dedicating hardware chips to make DLSS work, whereas AMD is just doing it for the most part over software. Um, although newer chips, I, I do expect them to, you know, basically run this off of hardware and these new AI chips. AI is going to play a big part in, in increasing your frames using upscaling. Um, and you do need hardware for that. And it's only going to get better and better. And again, I mean, NVIDIA's been doing this for a long time and they've been the leaders in this for more or less. Um, so AMD's catching up and they're catching up fast and FSR4 is the result of Sony, uh, PlayStation and AMD's collaboration. Um, and it's going to benefit all AMD devices, not just PlayStation, right? PlayStation might still slap the PSSR badge on it, but let's not be mistaken, it's still going to be FSR um, under the hood. It's a collaboration between AMD and PlayStation, but it's going to benefit everyone. PlayStation's just going to maybe save a couple of little features for themselves and obviously label it PSSR just to make it seem more PlayStation specific. But ultimately, this is going to benefit everyone that's got AMD APUs, whether it's the Steam Deck, whether it's other consoles, whether it's the next Xbox, potentially. Um, it's not going to be PlayStation exclusive. So basically, however, it's going to take some time to see the new technology migrate across to the PlayStation 5 Pro. And our focus for 2025 is working with devs to integrate PSSR into their titles in parallel, though we have already started to implement the new neural network on PS5 Pro. Um, our target is to have something very similar to FSR4's upscaler available on the uh, PS5 Pro for 2026 um, titles as the next evolution of PSSR. It should take the same inputs and produce essentially the same outputs doing that implementation is rather ambitious and time consuming which is why you haven't already seen this new upscaler on the ps5 pro um the raw the raw hardware specifications um, of the new RX 9070 and RX 9070 XT are considerably higher than the PS5 Pro. We're talking about higher mid-range hardware here in a market that encompasses anything from $200 to $2,000 GPUs. Just look at the, AM, uh, the NVIDIA 5090. Um, it's a $2,000 GPU. We're getting up there as far as GPU prices are concerned. Um, and availability is not getting any better either. <laughs> If you follow my stock tracking stream, I'm actually tracking a lot of NVIDIA graphics cards and they're notoriously hard to get, especially the 5090s and 5080s. Um, 5070s are doing a little bit better as far as availability, availability is concerned. But yeah, um, graphics cards are expensive and they're hard to get right now. Um, yeah, so, um, meanwhile, our test did suggest that FSR 4 does have a significant computational cost, but even so, Cerny believes that the PS5 Pro's machine learning hardware is up to the task of running FSR 4 without significant re-architecting. Um, that's what we're targeting, and we believe we can achieve it, he says. The peak performance number for PS5 Pro is 308-bit tops without sparsity, which compares very well to the re recently released AMD GPUs. We don't believe sparsity is useful for this particular upscaling algorithm. Um, sparsity is a feature of machine learning hardware we're not supported in Pro, but it's supported in RDNA 4. It refers to a technique where a significant portion of data or computations is in a neural network are intentionally reduced or skipped to improve efficiency. Our understanding is that NVIDIA used sparsity to increase DLSS performance in the RTX 30 series and pure generation, and that's what I have in my PC, the RTX 3080 Ti. Um, RDNA 4 and the hardware in PS5 Pro are completely separate designs, which is why I speak in terms of re-implementation on the PS5 Pro when I talk about the new upscaling network using FSR 4. So basically, he's saying that, you know, they're going to have to re-implement FSR 4 um, or just tweak FSR4 to work on PlayStation's own hardware, right? Um, and their machine learning chips. I'm definitely looking forward to a feature with co-developed cool hardware features for machine learning that will dramatically increase the inter interoperability. Um, so yeah. Um, so in summary, what this means is that FSR4 is a new powerful 
upscaling technology that uses machine learning um, to make games look super sharp. And obviously, Mark Cerny says that it's coming to the PS5 Pro for 2026 titles. And he's excited because it's an upgrade over the current PSSR tech, right? Um, he's going to deliver crisper visuals with the same inputs. Even though it's a big job to get working on the PS5 Pro's hardware, um, Cerny's point is to, that the PS5 Pro's got the muscle to do it with 308-bit tops of power. And it, will hand, it should handle FSR4 without major changes to the hardware or anything significant, right? Um, proving that it's ready. The PS5 Pro is ready for this next level graphics boost, and um, we're going to start seeing the fruits of you know this collaboration next year, as early as next year with upcoming titles. And that's why he's basically putting this article out there or doing this interview is to basically tell developers, "Hey, get ready! FSR4 is coming. We want to get you using these machine learning techniques and algorithms in your games. We want to get them in the games now. That way, once 2026 comes, the PS5 Pro is going to be a substantial, you know." player as far as game is concerned in terms of you know supporting this new upscaling tech and it's just going to make PSSR even better. Now I was concerned at first uh, at the start of this article that maybe that PlayStation had sort of given up on branding it as PSSR and maybe just going to lean on AMD and call it FSR but I don't think they're going to do that now. I think they're going to stick with the PSSR label. Obviously it is under the hood going to just be FSR4 essentially it's just going to be a reworked FSR4 to basically be optimized for PlayStation's own hardware. So let me know what you think in the comments if that makes sense to you and if you're excited for next year's uh, the next year of gaming obviously 2026 is still a long way away. We're still like nine months away from 2026 so there's still time but there's going to be a, big, a lot of big games coming out in 2026 grand theft auto grand theft auto 06 being one of them right um that's hopefully still going to come out later this year but it's going to get even better with the ps5 pro next year um perhaps before next year um with this new upscaling technology so it's a lot to be excited about i'm excited are you excited let me know in the comments thank you for watching i'm blazed okay if you love gaming tech all that good stuff please like subscribe click the bell icon stay tuned for more videos and check out the links down below for some really cool deals best tech best ps5 deals best coffee best TV, best probiotics, and as well, I'm going to save you $10 off your first Instacart order. Click the link down below. Go get your $10 off. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. I'm Blaze2K. Goodbye.